How's it going? Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2019 Nissan Murano, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the draw tight max frame trailer hitch receiver. Compared to some of the other hitches, because of how this one contours to the back of our bumper, it is going to be just a little bit more visible. But I personally think it does make it a little easier to use because we're going to have a little more space to work with. I think this hitch will work really well, not only for accessories, but especially for towing. And I say that because it already has a bracket attached to it to hook up your trailer wiring. And we're going to have very large safety chain openings that are really easy to get to, give us plenty of space, and it'll allow us to use just about any size hook that we might have. Since it is a class three hitch, we're gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening we're also going to have a reinforced collar for extra strength. That is going to have the standard 5A size pinhole, which I do want to point out a pin and clip is not included, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. It's also going to have a smaller hole in front, and that's going to allow the use of a J-pin, which acts as a stabilization device to eliminate any rattle or slop in our connection point here. Now, as far as the hitch's weight capacities go, we're going to have a 600 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. That's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. So that's going to be plenty of capacity to use just about any bike rack or cargo carrier that you might want to. Now as far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's going to be 4,000 pounds, the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have on it. Now this can be used with the weight distribution system, which is a separate component. However, if you do use that, your weight capacities will remain the same. Now, I do always like to mention, it's a good idea to check with your Nissan's owner's manual to make sure you can pull that much weight. Many of our customers with the hands-free lift gate feature wonder if it'll still be operational when the hitch is in place. The answer is yes, it'll still work just fine. Now, if you do plan on doing a little bit of towing, I would recommend picking up some trailer wiring. That way the lights on your trailer will match the lights on the back of our Nissan and you'll be safe and legal. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements and you're going to use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be about 12 and a half inches. So chances are pretty good you're going to need to get a ball mount with a rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole, so the edge of a rear bumper, it's going to be about three and a half inches. And you're going to use that to figure out if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's very straightforward and shouldn't take up a whole lot of your time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put the hitch on together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be working here underneath our vehicle on each one of our frame rails. Now in our case, our frame rails are bare, but if you happen to have any undercoating on your frame rails, that's going to interfere with your hitch sitting flush against them. You're gonna to need to scrape that off, and you can use a screwdriver or even a paint scraper. Now I'd like to point out our attachment points that are going to hold our hitch in place. Over here on the driver's side, we're going to have three. We're going to be using this hole, this hole, as well as this hole. And over on the passenger side, we're going to have two attachment points. We're going to be using this hole as well as this one. Now it is a good idea, since all those holes are threaded, to clean them out of any dirt and debris that could potentially be in there. So what you want to do is spray them down with some lubricant. I'm just going to use a two brush to clean those threads out. You want to make sure you do this to all of our attachment points. The hardware that we're going to use to secure the hitch is going to be the same for all of our attachment points. We're going to have a bolt as well as a conical tooth washer. Now whenever we put the hitch up against the frame rail, you want to make sure that the teeth on the washer are going to face up towards the hitch. So it'll go like this. So we'll have our hitch up and these will simply just thread into those attachment points. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to raise our hitch into position. And on each side, we're going to get it secured. 
hand tight with at least one bolt. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. Now we're going to use an 18 millimeter socket to tighten down all of our hardware. Now we can use a torque wrench to tighten our hardware down to the specification found in the instructions. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the draw tight max frame trailer hitch receiver on our 2019 Nissan Murano.